My name is Ian Ramage. Um, uh, I'm from Australia originally. Been living in Southeast Asia for about 25 years. I live in Cambodia where I, I'm a researcher. We do research in healthcare. I'm very happy to be in Bangkok Hospital. We've helped deal with my lung cancer. Um, I woke up one morning and I had uh, difficulty getting my breath. It was difficult to breathe and so I was a bit concerned. It was on a weekend and I knew that uh, Royal Phnom Penh Hospital would be open and they would have x-ray and all the facilities that might be needed whereas my GP would not have the same sort of level of uh, facilities. So I went to the hospital where I'd been as an outpatient a couple of times for minor things. A doctor saw me and assessed me there as having a collapsed lung uh, and pneumonia uh, and they whipped me into the operating room and uh, put a chest tube in to reinflate the lung very, very fast, which was good. And so I uh, ended up as an inpatient in uh, Royal Phnom Penh Hospital, RPH in Phnom Penh, for about a week. Uh, and during that, we did a, a PET scan. And on the PET scan, they saw a spot on the lung that the technician said looked bad, uh, looked malignant. Um, and so we did a, they did a biopsy on this. Um, and when the biopsy results came back, it turned out to be a malignant uh, lung cancer. Then uh, they referred me to Bangkok Hospital uh, and Dr. Padung Kiet um, as the surgeon. So I, I flew to Bangkok. Initially, it was supposed to be for more tests, PTCT scan, I think, to, to look at the cancer and to, they did some testing on the, on the biopsy specimen. Um, but Dr. Padung Kiet, when he saw me, he said, I want to operate this week, now. Royal Phnom Penh Hospital is, is part of the Bangkok Hospital Group. That's part of the reason. Um, the reason that I was very happy to come here is that uh, my eldest daughter was in Bangkok Hospital 16 years ago um, and had successful thyroidectomy for thyroid cancer, which is completely in remission and has been in remission for 16 years. She's now, she was 12 years old at the time, now she's 28, grown up with two kids. Um, her health is excellent, um, although she has no thyroid gland. So I had a lot of, a lot of faith in cancer treatment in, in Bangkok Hospital. The, the surgeon who operated on my daughter was amazing. He just did a very, a very good job. So that's why Bangkok Hospital. No, I'd never heard about it. And Dr. Padung Kiet told me about this and I, I looked up some of the videos on YouTube which are amazing. You see this thing peeling a banana and then sewing it back together again. It's like, oh my God, it's just yeah, space age, space age stuff. I asked Dr. Padung Kiet if he had a lot of experience at computer games, because I think it's, it's like a computer game. The surgeon's not even, not even next to the patient. This case is very interesting in terms of clinical presentation. He actually came to Royal Phnom Penh Hospital in Cambodia because of air leak from his right lung called actually this condition called pneumothorax. So the um, Royal Phnom Penh Hospital treated him initially with a chest tube and I, when he we did it a uh, CT scan and they found that the patient has right upper lobe mass which is concerning for cancer. Um, so that's why we found that spot in his right lung. He has only hypertension and of course the pneumothorax that was found recently in Royal Phnom Penh Hospital. Um, he has biopsy proven lung cancer called adenocarcinoma. Initially, when we did a, P, a PET scan, the whole body scan, it was found that he has no distant metastasis at all. There's some concern of the uh, small lymph node involvement at the center of his right lung called the hyla lymph node. But the lymph node in the center of his chest called midacinal lymph node has no cancer spreading. So his clinical staging is stage one or two. We propose robotic assisted surgery the reason that we recommended robotic surgery is because of first, he has previous scarring from the pleural DC that was done. And second, because there's concern about the involvement of cancer to the lymph node in the hyla area 
and robotic assisted surgery can clear out all the lymph nodes in the effective manner. The robotic assisted surgery can give the patient much less pain after surgery, giving them return to work time faster, and most importantly, if the patients need further therapy, such as chemo or radiation, the patient can receive it sooner. I felt better very quickly, and so I thought it's, it's going to take forever to sort of stop feeling like crap um, because I felt so bad. But within, within two days, I was sort of able to move around. Um, the Dr. Padonkia was encouraging me to get out of bed and wander around. The uh, physiotherapist was taking me for walks. It was excellent. It was nice not having to be in a bed all the time. Um, everything, everything worked fine. Um, and the, the only difference was because I had a lobectomy, so one, one section of the lung was removed. So I have less lung capacity on one side. Um, and so I found myself getting out of breath uh, if I go upstairs, um, like two flights of stairs. Not because of the surgery, it's because there's some lung missing. So yeah, no, it was good. I was, I was very, very impressed by how quickly I could resume normal activities. It was good. The ICU team were, were amazing um, when I was here as an inpatient. I think also the, the ancillary staff, the janitors who, who, clean, who clean the room every day, multiple times a day, who empty the rubbish, who bring fresh water, who bring fresh toilet paper and fresh tissues and wipe things down all the time, are just amazing. They were always very friendly, um, they were always did a, did a great job, and the, my room was always spotless and the hospital is always yeah, beautiful and clean as well. I thought they were great. Since then I've also uh, I've started chemotherapy after the surgery. Um, and I think the, the team in the chemotherapy ward are great. They're, um, they're, they're also lovely and they, they seem to have the best sense of humour in the hospital. I don't know why chemotherapy nurses have a great sense of humour, but they, they seem to, yeah, they like the joke. Um, and yeah, Dr. Pudong Kiet's amazing, but yeah, he's supposed to be amazing, he's a doctor. He studied for a long time to be good at this. Normally when a patient has severe adhesion is in his chest, uh, normally they stay in the hospital quite a long time because of concern for long delivery. But with this case, using a robotic assisted surgery can help us clear his adhesion or scarring in the chest down in a very safe manner. And the patient only stay in the hospital for four days without any air leak at all and he, can, he was able to walk freely in the day of discharge. In terms of oncological outcome, we were able to remove the mass along with the right upper lung as in the whole lobe with free margin. And we were able to remove in total of 25 lymph nodes and there's only one lymph node showing cancer, which make him at stage two, which he will need uh, afterward, the systemic chemotherapy. The key element of success in this case are first, that we have strong network collaboration. The second is that we have a technology that even the patient have a recent prothesis causing severe scar, but with the robotic assist surgery, we can perform surgery in a safe and effective manner and the patient afterward can receive systemic chemotherapy within a timely manner. And lastly, we have strong multidisciplinary team. Our pathology report comes out only about three to four days after surgery. Our tumor board conference performed the next day after pathology report comes out and we can give the patient the definitive plan right after. A message for, for cancer patients is that the treatment for cancer and the, has advanced so fast and so much. The, the outcomes now are just so much better than they used to be for patients. It's not, cancer is not a death sentence anymore. Um, similar to H HIV is no longer a death sentence as well because it can be treated. I think cancer, provided cancer is caught reasonably early now, it's just amazing. My daughter's been cancer free for 16 years after a total thyroidectomy and a quite advanced uh, thyroid cancer and she's fine. Uh, and in that 16 years we now have 
the Da Vinci Z amazing robots that can do robot assisted surgery as well um, to sort of, you know, improve removal of the cancer, to improve recovery paths. Um, and so, yeah, I think um, it's, if you, if you get good treatment um, in a well-resourced hospital like Bangkok Hospital, yeah, your chance of positive outcomes are very high. Thank you.